It's been two weeks and a fair amount has happened. Hurricane Irene came through Worcester, everyone all of a sudden is back on campus, and I did some science! Irene came through Worcester long after it had been downgraded to a tropical storm. And luckily in Worcester, very little happened. I think our power flickered once, but that's about it. I however can't say the same thing for back at home. The town where I went to high school got hit really hard by flooding. For instance, this is the bridge that I took to soccer practice. I probably won't take that bridge again for a long time. Irene came through Worcester just when uh, the sophomores, juniors, and seniors were supposed to be moving in. Luckily, it didn't really do that much, so everything was okay. It's actually kind of weird having everyone back on campus. After being on campus throughout the entire summer, all by myself, I had kind of gotten used to it. And then I was in the bookstore the past two weeks, so I actually wasn't on campus that much. So it was kind of a shock to see so many people walking about. I almost feel like I missed the first week of class and all the excitedness because I was working so much. Other than just general first week excitedness, I did get some work done in the lab. Over the past two weeks, my diatom selves have been growing on selective plates. And it's about time to move those guys into liquid media. Not only will these guys be much happier in liquid media, but this is one step closer to having big liquid cultures of diatoms that have transformed with our plasmids, which means we're one step closer to testing them for gene expression, which is awesome. In order to start the liquid cultures, I needed to use a dissecting microscope to find diatom colonies that looked healthy. So I brought my plates downstairs to look at them under the microscope to see how they were doing and see whether I had colonies worth transferring into a liquid culture. This here is a brown colony worthy for transfer into liquid culture. I carefully scanned each plate under the microscope and circled potential colonies with a marker. As you can see here, some plates got really marked up. Once I had enough colonies to start a liquid culture of each variety of plasmid, it was time to start the liquid cultures themselves. While these colonies look healthy now, we don't want to throw them into a very large volume only to wait several weeks for them to not grow. So we're going to put these colonies in very small amounts of seawater. This way we should be able to see growth within a week or two and then transfer them into a bigger volume. That way it's sort of a safety net so we're sure that we're transferring healthy colonies into a big volume of culture. Transferring the colonies from the plates into liquid culture was actually a fairly quick process. It was really just a matter of adding the appropriate nutrients to autoclave seawater, so that's sterile, and then aliquoting the appropriate amount of water to each little dish here. And then it was back to the microscope. Through the microscope, I carefully plucked off a colony from a plate using a pipette tip. I then transferred that pipette tip into a small little dish and shook off the colony. To ensure that the colony was successfully transferred to the liquid culture dish, I then looked at the pipette tip again underneath the microscope to make sure it was gone. Now that I have all these mini liquid cultures prepared, it's time for them to grow up until I can move on to the next step. 